Early one morning, Andy Pandy was looking for his socks. He found lots of things, and then just one sock, a very big sock. At last, he found another pair of socks. Now he could finish getting dressed. Andy wondered what he was going to do with the odd sock. One sock was no good to anyone, Andy Pandy thought. At least not someone with two feet. You might as well throw it away. Andy Pandy was about to put it in the bin when he had an idea. Andy Pandy took the sock to Luby Lou's house. He asked her if she had a needle and thread. The sock didn't look to Luby Lou as if it needed mending. Andy Pandy said that it didn't. Then he explained. What he wanted her to do. <laughs> Andy Pandy had asked Luby Lou to sew some buttons onto his sock. She had made a puppet. Two of the buttons she had sewn on were eyes, and the other one a nose. Andy Pandy <laughs> thought the puppet looked very funny. <laughs> so did Luby Lou. Andy Pantley decided to show his new puppet to Teddy, but he thought he could make a little surprise for him as well. Andy found a cardboard box and cut a hole in it. Teddy had come round to Andy Pantley's house to play. When he saw the box, he wondered what was inside. Andy Pantley told Teddy he could have a look, so he did and was very surprised. At what he saw, Teddy wanted to know who Andy Pandy's new friend was. Andy Pandy showed Teddy the puppet that he and Luby Lou had made. <laughs> Teddy asked if he could play with it, so Andy gave it to him. Teddy thought he'd like to surprise someone with the puppet the way Andy Pandy had surprised him. It looked like Missy Hissy was still asleep. Teddy could surprise her. <laughs> But Missy Hissy wasn't asleep. She had gone to visit Bilbo. Teddy had lost Andy Pandy's puppet inside Missy Hissy's pipes. He thought he'd better go and make another one to replace it. Missy Hissy was coming home again. Teddy was too busy to stop. Missy Hissy was very surprised to find someone in her pipes. She went to find help. Andy Pandy was looking after his garden when Missy Hissy arrived. She needed help. She said there was someone in her pipes, and she didn't know what to do. Andy Pandy called into the pipes to tell whoever was inside to come out, but they didn't. Maybe they'd gone," said Andy Pandy. But they hadn't gone. Missy Hissy's uninvited visitor was still there. Then Teddy arrived. He tried to explain to Andy Pandy that he'd lost the puppet, but he'd made another one to replace it. Andy Pandy said they'd got more important things to think about than puppets. Someone was in Missy Hissy's pipes. An uninvited visitor. Andy Pandy said it wasn't funny. Missy Hissy was quite upset, but Teddy said her visitor was no one to be frightened of. It was Andy Pandy's puppet that he'd lost in her pipe. Missy Hissy was very relieved that there were no unwanted visitors in her pipes. Teddy said he was sorry for frightening her, and she quickly forgave him. Then Missy Hissy watched as Andy and Teddy played with their new puppets.
is so much fun.